Lazy is mounting a fight against illegal imports of contaminated and non-recyclable plastics. The Environment Minister vowed on Tuesday to ship 3,000 tonnes of waste back to their respective countries of origin, including the US, Britain, France and Japan, as she showed reporters the scale of the problem. Well, Malaysia has been awash with waste since China has stopped importing millions of tonnes of plastics from the developed world last year. Much of it's been finding its way into other Southeast Asian countries. The Malaysian Environment Minister insisted this practice has to stop. Whoever that sent their, their waste to Malaysia, whether it's e-waste, whether it's plastic waste or whatever waste, we will send it back. And we will fight back. Even though we are a small country, we cannot be bullied by developed countries. Well, Malaysia isn't the only Southeast Asian country pushing back against the influx of garbage. Canada's agreed to accept the return of a huge shipment dumped in the Philippines, a story we bought you last week. But it's been a six-year-long dispute, big battle over that, resolved last week. Over 100 shipping containers of mislabeled household waste have been sent to two ports over in the Philippines back in 2013 and basically left there to fester. The political fallout became so severe that President Duterte himself threatened to dump the rubbish back in Canadian waters. We'll declare war against Canada. We can take them down. I'll return the trash. Just wait and see. I will advise Canada that your garbage is on the way. Prepare a grand reception. Eat it if you want to. Environmental campaigner George Barter told us about the unethical side of free trade then. So the, the wider phenomenon that this is part of is what is what's known by some as waste colonialism, and and the really you know dirty secret of so-called free trade is that it's free for corporations to do what the hell they like, um, but there's there's very little freedom for for um, you know poorer countries that are often the subject of of this you know these toxic arrivals to do anything about it. After China uh, announced a ban on imported plastics at the end of 2017, that neighbouring countries in Asia. Um, you know, Philippines, um, Malaysia, etc., have now become the dumping grounds for that country, for, for that waste. Um, and the depressing thing is there seems to be no evidence whatsoever that countries like the UK are doing any kind of follow-up um, to make sure that that waste is being treated in a, in a remotely responsible way. There's virtually no, there's no inspection of that regulations.